Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the presidential elections. Today is the first Monday of October. Today is Monday the 5th. And uh, a lot of stuff politically has happened since, you know, all the political stuff's happening literally every day. I mean, you have ju uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Ginsburg dying, Trump trying to replace her spot by before the election, the uh, presidential debate the other night, and yeah, a lot is ha going happening, and we're like five weeks away from the election. But uh, yeah, we'll get to this year's election obviously later on in the series. When will it happen? You'll have to wait and find out. So let's talk about today's episode, the election of 1948. Yeah. Uh, the current incumbent president is up for re-election, but will he win? Well, we'll have to, we'll find out right now. So this election took place on November 2nd of 1948. Uh, we have three candidates. The first is their current president, Harry Truman of Missouri. He is a Democrat. He got 303 electoral votes. He got uh, 24,179,347 of the popular vote of the people. And his running mate is Albin Barkley. Yeah. Your second candidate is Thomas Dewey from New York. He was a Republican. He got 189 electoral votes. He got 21,991,292 of the popular vote. And his running mate is Earl Warren. Yeah, and your third and final candidate is Storm Thurmond of South Carolina. He was a Dixiecrat. Yeah, what is a Dixiecrat? Well, that is for another day. So, yeah, we're not going to cover it in today's video. Sorry. He got 39 electoral votes. He got 1,175,000. 930 of the popular vote. And his running mate was Fielding Wright. Spelled with a W, not an R. I mean, it has an R in there, but, you know, it starts with a W. Like the Wright brothers. Yeah. Okay. So, how many votes were needed? And how many were there in total? Well, in total, there were 531, but you only need 266 in order to win. So, obviously, President Truman, who literally took over the presidency after FDR died in office, became, well, he continued to stay as president. The overall turnout was 53%. Yeah. In which it went down 2.9%. So, yeah. In which, by the way, Ohio did get it right. So, what what is Ohio's complete uh, uh, winning record? Well, we'll talk about that on Thursday's episode. And so, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow when we talk about the election of 1952. Yep, stay cool, stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on the circle to your right. If you would like to see the last series on this channel, click the square on your left. The last series done on this channel was 
the census. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.